Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. This is The Evil Within. You maybe remember this, perhaps, from many, many moons ago when it actually first came out. And from what I can remember, I actually kind of enjoyed this game. So why are we touching it again? Well, 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 well. I have been challenged by a certain Jimmy Fails to get through this game without using any kind of upgrades. Not allowed any green goo injected into our brain at all. Difficulty wasn't specified, so we're going to go with standard. This game, I, I kind of remember enjoying it when it first came out. However, <laughs> my opinion on it has definitely changed. Um, with, I guess, my tastes in games uh, as, as you know, we've moved on. Uh, I don't think this game has aged very well at all. I haven't played it since back then, but I have seen some videos and I did indeed watch quite a bit of Jimmy Fails uh, trying to finish this game on the hardest difficulty. The game has aged rather poorly. Also, it's going to be interesting playing this now, because when I first played this game, I believe I had my GTX 670. Man, that was, that was some time ago. And then I believe at some point we upgraded to the 1060, uh, which improved things significantly, because we were able to hit 60. Uh, frames and things like that um, and now I have a 4080 so this is gonna be interesting I have played a little bit of it off camera just to kind of get reacquainted with it and oh dear <laughs> the specifically the original chapter the first chapter man that's a bit of a slow burn this one uh, gonna be interesting I have noticed that a lot of the frame stutters and general performance issues, texture load-ins, stuff like that that I vividly remember this game for are not present anymore, but then, you know, we're running this on way more powerful hardware than we could even dream of back in the day. So, this is going to be an interesting one, guys. Let's go. Evil Within. No upgrades. We're gonna go new game. Not new game plus, just new game. And yes, we're gonna go with survival. I was tempted to pop this up to nightmare, but you know, if we're not gonna be upgrading any weapons. Ah, uh, yep, survival. Let's go. Now I'm not gonna be overly fussy with picking up all the items and logs and things we're just gonna see if how hard it is to get through it with standard load 184 copy code 3 ETA 3 minutes sorry detectives I know you're just coming off a case but I'm afraid we're gonna have to make a detour sounds serious is it a riot a call went out just before I picked you up it said it was multiple homicides Half a dozen units already on scene. One, three, one. Please advise. Hey, maybe it's the ghost of that doctor who went schizo and chopped up all those patients. That's not what happened. Some patients disappeared. Some kind of scandal? Still, gives you the creeps, doesn't it? One, two, seven. One, two, four. Please respond. Joseph, you think there's a connection? It's a possibility. I believe the records were sealed. Anyone on scene respond? Dispatch, this is Detective Castellanos in 184. What's the situation? Over. 184, be advised. Some problems with Chimano on the Seeker Memorial. Is there any... God damn it! Jesus! Jeez, I hope we haven't just been sucked into the Matrix. Or something. Nah, that's silly. Junior Detective Kidman. Any thoughts? Nothing yet. 
<laughs> I'm sure we'll know everything once we get there. dispatch and let them know what's happening. Joseph, Kidman, you're with me. We're gonna have a look around. Right. Now one thing I will say about this game, straight off the bat, visually it's held up pretty damn well, I have to say. And because we're playing on PC we can get rid of those annoying borders that the consoles had. Now coming off the back of uh, you know the original creator of the Resident Evil series uh, I don't know I, I I think we just expected a bit more from this no weapons left in their cars uh, should I say a lot more I remember f at least from what I can remember my like biggest issues with this game is the story it's just confusing nonsense for the sake of being confusing nonsense. But I remember the gameplay being okay, apart from the fact that you have these really annoying cheap one-hit kill deaths. But are they as bad as I remember? We're gonna find out. It smells like blood. All right, stay sharp. But nobody can knock the... Check it out. Don't let anyone else through this door. Production values for the time. We don't know what's happening here. You're a backup. I mean, sure, to get it somewhat moving on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, they had to drop it almost below 720p and cap it to 30 frames a second. And then it, well, still didn't work very well, but you know. Visually, it's a game that's held up very well. Anyway, now this chapter is a very slow start, which took me by surprise. I'd forgotten how much forced walking there was. My god. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Are you injured? What happened here? Can't be real. Impossible. Ruvik is... I've got him. The security cameras might tell us something. Ruvik? Who is Ruvik? He's not some emo anime character, is he, that can uh, teleport around at will? Nah. Well, shit. What the hell? Meet the butcher. Oh. Oh, there he goes. Doing what he loves. Practicing butchery. Sounds like somebody's having a bad time. Alright, the chief. We making burgers? Sausages? All of the above? That guy has an awful lot of blood in his body. 
Just saying. Ah, yes. Press space repeatedly. Lovely. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely curious to see how this game holds up. Um, ah, sh Considering we went really hard on this game, I don't really remember it very well. But then that's, you know, my memory anyway. It's shit. I play through a game and then I don't remember anything about it, like two days later. Right, how are we running? Game is running like a dream. Man, I wish it ran this well when we first played it. So we can sneak. I do remember the sneak mechanics, kind of. We can sneak around and stab enemies in the back with our trusty knife. Our knife doesn't break, unlike Resident Evil 4 Remake, but... Oh look, maybe he is making sausages. Anywho, now we've got some keys, we can get the hell out of here. Right, we're just going to leave these chaps hanging. We've got places to go, people to see, you know. Oh, there's another corpse there, lovely. Got to keep the supply going, I suppose. A lot of hungry mutants out there. Careful with that door. Seb. Can't remember his name. Yes, yeah, Sebastian. That's his name. Sab. Everyone calls him Sab. Yes, I remember. Things are coming back to me. Now, funny thing, if you crouch, you can actually move faster than if you just walk, which is curious. <gasps> now you've done it. Now you've gone and done it. Now, I don't know what Shinji loves so much about chainsaws, but it wouldn't be a Shinji game without one. Now, it's interesting. Um, ooh, it's got a sting. Like the way his foot didn't actually go on the pedal, but okay. Alright, Sab, let's get a wiggle on. Oh well, as quick as you can, old boy. Alright, well, I guess, I guess... I'm going down into the super fun happy slide. Alright, this is not the most sanitary slide I've seen. Well, saying that, I've seen some pretty grubby slides. They don't usually have blood pools at the bottom, though. Yeah, that one's new. And bodies as well. Ah. Oh. These bodies, I guess, must be random because we had different bodies in here when I tried this earlier. Curious. Alright, well, let's go. Yeah. Now, I do remember I did... I, I played this game quite a few times, uh, you know, when we covered it originally. And one of the things I like about this game is you can skip this first chapter. Because, dude, oof. It's slow. Plenty of checkpoints, though. That's good. And it has to be said... Oof. I know they made a big deal of the lighting in this game when it first came out, but... Oof. It is. It is pretty. It really is. Even after nearly a decade. Because I, I forget when this game came out. But we we have to be pushing a decade. When did the Xbox and PS4 come out? Uh... Well, the Xbox One is 20... I want to say 2013. Yeah, so a decade ago. And this was an early game for them. We can go in there, but there's nothing in there. Hello, my dude. Looks like you've seen better days. Exit? Where is it? We'll find the exit. Don't you worry about that, old Zeb. Old note from sewer. Beside the locked gate at the far end of the sewer, there is a ladder which would take you to the old ward. If you could make it through there, you would find an elevator leading outside. You would be the one who escaped. You might be the one who survived. Ah. Oh, thanks, R, for that, uh, that riveting speech. But uh, I think we're going to take our chances. I don't know if we can actually go through this door. Nope. There's no icons um, telling you where you can go through a certain door or not, but 
I guess this portal is open, so we shall move within. Oh, another ladder. Come on, Zeb. Look, Zed, I don't, I don't want to upset you, mate, but there's no need to be crawling your ass this slowly. You know, no, none of this is real, brother. This is, this is all in your head, my friend. You know, you have all the power here. Kind of. Not really, but sort of. If you play the DLC, I believe. Anyway, if you've got a strong mind, you can... Anyway, we're getting too far ahead of ourselves. There you go, buddy. Not bad. So, boiler room note. STEM. System operation test begins. 315. Uh, Success. Confirmation of brainwave synchronization. Losses minimal. Continuing experiment. Agent collects the data. Uh, 130. Anonymy occurs. Not with the subject. The stenographer claimed that they weren't feeling well and then fell into a coma for reasons unknown. Doctors ordered the STEM system terminated. Now, yeah, here is a bit of a problem with the PC version. The mouse wheel doesn't actually work. Uh, which is a problem because Um, and they never fixed it either. So that's cool, I guess. Um, 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 um inventory. Yeah, yeah, not sure. I'm pretty sure. Uh, if memory serves. There is another key on the keyboard that allows us to scroll. But I, I don't know. I thought it was page up and page down. It is not. So, you know, to that end, is it even worth bothering with the logs? I've <laughs> pass. Anywho, let's go. We'll look into it. I'll, I'll have a quick look after this. See if I can find some way. I'm sh there must have been a way. I'm sure there was. I guess I could play with the controller, but I kind of don't want to. Well, this looks comfortable. We reckon, Zeb. Reckon this looks nice. Nice and cozy. Fancy a weekend here. I mean, sure, if the price is right. Oh, hello. Looks like our friend is back. Alright, Butcher. Let's uh, hide in this totally inconspicuous hiding space. Which he absolutely will not find us in. Because he's a stupid ass. Come on, sir. Whilst we're young. Or is that boat already passed already? I'm not sure. Look at that. I invite him into my room and he smashes everything. Although, if I could get a discount on the place, might be worth it. Alright. Alright, sir. Calm down. Now. You're going to be a goit, aren't you? Block my path. Well, that's not very cricket, is it, sir? Give me the bottle. You ready, sir? Yeah. Go on. Fetch. 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 Whilst we gimply hobble along like we've got a purpose. I don't know where you use it, but there is a dude behind us with a rather large chainsaw. Is it food for thought, maybe? No? Okay. There we go. Lovely. Don't think there's anything in here that we can fiddle with. Nope. You ready, buddy? There we go. Oh, it's a wheelchair. Sit in one of those. Probably be quicker. 
Oh, of course. Our friend's back. I mean, to him, we must look like a walking pack of sausages, I guess. I can understand. We've all been there. We've been there. We've been that hungry that, you know, you look at your cat and you see a roast dinner, for instance. Oh, God. In fact, my cat's getting pretty plump. Probably would be a uh, efficient way of making a Sunday roast. Stuck in this shit hole without even any smokes. Unlucky old boy. Unlucky. Darkness twisting me And now Sebastian's gonna sing to us. Thanks for that. There is nothing I can do. And that is the opening to Evil Within. Again, I think it was like a cool opening. Like the first time you play it, like with many sections in modern Resident Evil games, they're great the first time you play them, but they're kind of obnoxious to keep replaying over and over. Shinji Mikami. Now, the second game was significantly better. In fact, the second game I thought was pretty damn good. Ah. Oh. We just woken up with our leg fixed, I guess. Alright. I think they explain it. Probably not. And I have been playing Ghostwire Tokyo as well. Which is... Is so good. It really is. I was going to say, come on Seb, get a move on. Jesus. You've just come out of an elevator. You've discovered that your leg isn't actually sliced in half. And you're actually moving slower somehow than when your leg was like hanging on by a thread. I don't know what's wrong with you, Seb, honestly. a little bit of uh, lag with loading textures, but it's not bad. <laughs> Get those running shoes on, Zeb. Almost missed the ride. We knew that pretty much straight away. There's no going back now. Now six miles have crumbled. Pretty good suspension on that thing to be fair. gets torn in half. I don't know why. It's so satisfying. Oh, 
Well, there ain't a lot left now. That's bad. That's worse. That's one chapter down. I don't know how many. Is it 15? <sighs> like 14 left? I mean, that wasn't... That wasn't very difficult, was it? But... I guess that chapter kind of just plays itself. <laughs> so things are going to get a little bit rougher. Actually, to be fair, I think they're going to start off very easy. But as we get to some of the late game bosses... I think that's where things are going to start to be a little bit um, difficult or mm, just challenging. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. When we come back, on to chapter two.